Saguna Regenerative Technique SRT, is a farming method that avoids the intensive atrocities of plowing, tilling, or puddling the soil. Today, our soil, our Mother Earth, is extremely distressed and weak. If Mother Earth becomes healthy and happy, then the farmer who works, plays and cultivates on her land will also be happy. When the farmer is happy and confident, they can solve all their problems on their own. SRT means a happy farmer. SRT means healthy Mother Earth. That's why I say SRT is my life. If every woman adopts SRT, they all will be happy. All family members will joyfully engage in farming. Even those who had abandoned farming and moved to cities are now returning to farming. Now their children say, if I get married, it will only be to an SRT farmer. Come on over, let's sit, let's have a cup of tea. How's everything? How's the crop? Dada, this year the rain and everything else are going well. The crops are good. But what about yesterday's rain, the heavy rainfall? Thanks to SRT, our fields are thriving wonderfully. Well done, first class. The most important aspect of SRT is that Mother Earth becomes happy. Earthworms and microorganisms increase in the soil, making it aromatic. In farming, the most crucial thing is that the farmer becomes happy and confident. People say SRT is a zero-tillage technology, that means no tillage. But science shows it's not zero tillage. That is continuous and perpetual tillage. That's natural tillage. Today, we till the land with iron or wooden plows. But do you know nature has its own plow? That plow is microorganisms, earthworms, fungi, and the microbial ecosystem, which continuously tills the soil naturally. Instead of plowing, we let each crop's roots decompose in situ, naturally providing nutrients to the soil. When the crops themselves don't demand additional nutrients, why should I add organic matter or chemical fertilizers? Everything is automatic in SRT, and it meets all the needs of my crops. The SRT technique is based on three principles. One, do not till the soil. Two, allow previous crop roots or weeds to decompose in the soil, adding nutrients naturally. Three, practice crop rotation. This land was barren until 2014. Not even weeds would grow here. Nearby farmers from 32 villages laughed at me. Now with SRT in this 33 Gunta area, I have 18,000 maize plants, averaging 40 to 50 quintals. Erosion on our sloped lands has stopped. Preventing soil erosion is crucial because the soil's lifeblood is no longer being washed away. With inconsistent weather patterns, it becomes unaffordable for farmers to keep up with the farming profession. In SRT, we use a seed dibbling tool for planting. It simplifies growing crops like cotton, maize, and sunflower. Even with reduced fertilizer usage, you can see the uniformly vigorous cotton crop. The plants, which used to grow four feet tall, now reach six to seven feet, have to be supported by bamboo and sticks. Planting costs have decreased, while yields have increased significantly. The growth of the plants and their branches is excellent, and the number of bowls has also increased. After seeing good results in rice, we've successfully cultivated cash crops like tomatoes, cucumbers, bitter gourds, ridge gourds, onions, garlic and peanuts. After growing legumes like mung beans and chickpeas, we started growing 26 types of crops, including eggplants, tomatoes, chilies, pulses, and leafy greens. With traditional farming, we didn't have time for other tasks like grazing livestock or finding laborers and tractors. But with SRT, those issues don't arise. Crops like rice and millets are planted within two days instead of 15. This season, we planted SRT rice quickly, allowing my mother to join the Ashadiwari pilgrimage. We're earning better profits while having extra time at hand. I now have a micro flour mill, a hand-operated grinder, and two gear cows at home. 
The SRT technique is amazing. It increases yield, reduces costs, and eliminates labor dependency, allowing us to enjoy farming. On a fallow grassland, I sprayed herbicide, and on the eighth day, I just threw the black gram seed. Now, the crop stand is nicely knee-high. If herbicides were to affect my soil negatively, there wouldn't be earthworms in my field. But my field is full of earthworms, showing no adverse effects from herbicides. Using the correct dose of salt in cooking makes food flavorful, but excessive salt can ruin it. Similarly, in farming, the use of chemicals and fertilizers must be balanced. SRT maintains that balance, reducing dependency on chemical fertilizers as soil fertility naturally increases. Nature provides NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and micronutrients, taking care of the crops. I harvested 100 quintals of cotton from 5 acres and achieved similar results with soybean, pigeon pea, maize, sorghum, and other crops. Earthworm populations have multiplied to millions in my fields. SRT has doubled the yield from our guava and carvanda orchards. The size, taste, and shine of the fruits have improved, making us a recognized brand in the market. We have very little control over the rain. We have very little control on the labor costs or how much they demand per day. But we can reduce the cost of production by finding ways to reduce our expenses. If we can discover a method that can lower the cost of production, then farmers will be happy. Therefore, every farmer, regardless of their crop, should seriously consider trying SRT must try SRT method on a small portion of their land. This will help them realize that they can reduce their production costs. SRT is climate resilient, meaning it can withstand both excessive and insufficient rainfall. A guaranteed crop is like insurance, and that's exactly what SRT is, insurance for your crops. SRT has given me a new hope of life after spending 28 plus years working and retiring from Mumbai. My wife, who was born, educated and married in Mumbai, has found a new interest in our village life thanks to SRT. Initially, she had no interest in farming whatsoever. But because of SRT, I've received the greatest gift. My wife, whom we used to jokingly call an English hen, has transformed into a village hen, actively working together on the farm. It's truly remarkable. When I returned from America in 1976 and married in 1977 to Anurada, a cancer immunologist, both of us came from highly respected backgrounds. Despite this, we were not accorded the same social status in the society because we were farmers. People wouldn't show any sign of recognition. It was then that I realized that humans need more than just food, clothing and shelter to survive. The fourth essential is dignity. In this country, farmers were completely devoid of that dignity. After enduring years of humiliation and neglect, I decided to find a way to avoid the arduous tasks of plowing, puddling and transplanting rice. I dedicated myself to this pursuit and thanks to divine intervention, I discovered a wonderful solution, SRT. SRT is the one and only mantra for agriculture. It's the soul of farming for us. SRT is a technology that gives life to farmers. It's like nectar, like the breath of life itself. Now, I've become one with SRT. It's an invaluable energy source for me. With SRT, soil enriching, the crops booming, and the farmer empowering.
भक्ताने एवढे वैभव दिले या पांडुरंगाने एवढे वैभव दिले या पांडुरंगाने गोड मानुनी प्रसाद घ्यावा भक्ताने गोड मानुनी प्रसाद घ्यावे भक्ताने